Hello, welcome to Salt and Light Canning. I'm Jessica and this is my kitchen. And today I am making blackberry jam. So to start off with, I have 16 cups of frozen blackberries. I'm gonna try and get in this pot. Anytime you're making jam, you need to bring, the first thing you need to do is bring your fruit to a boil. So we're gonna wait for this to come to a boil. Well, my fruit is at a boil, but it's not quite at a rolling boil that I can't turn down, stir it down. So this takes a few minutes and you have to be patient, but you can't walk away because then your jam will scorch and it's, you can't save it. If your jam scorches, you can't save it. You have to start all over and wash your pot and it's just not something you wanna do. So don't walk away from your jam, be patient. But we're boiling now and I'm just going to let my fruit boil for at least a minute. And what I do is I just watch my kitchen clock right here. You can set a timer if you want to. This smells just wonderful. All right, we've been boiling for a couple of minutes. So now I'm going to add lemon juice. It's about a quarter cup. I'm also going to add my pectin. So I do a one to one ratio. So if I have approximately 16 cups of fruit, then I do 16 cups of sugar and approximately 16 tablespoons of pectin. Now, because I don't want a bunch of chunks in my jam, I really don't. I don't mind the seeds and I don't mind bits of fruit, but I don't want whole berries. So, I'm going to immersion blend this, and this will also help to mix in my pectin. You don't have to, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> all right, so my pectin's all mixed in, mixed in, and now I'm going to bring this back to a boil that I can't stir down. Okay, I'm gonna watch my clock here for at least a minute. All right, we've been boiling for a little over a minute. Now I'm going to add some vanilla. Mm, that's about two tablespoons. Now we're at the point where I need to add my sugar. And I'm going to add it all at once. And once our sugar is all mixed up, I need to bring this back to a boil that I can't stir down for at least a minute. Now, if you've watched my jam videos before, you know I don't take the foam off. I don't skim the foam off. What I do is I just take a little bit of butter and put that in my jam, and that will take care of any foam issues that you have. My jam's been boiling for a couple of minutes now, and so I'm going to check my set. One way you can check your set is with a saucer. You put some out on the saucer. And wait a second. And if you can draw a line and it doesn't come together right away. And of course, we're gonna wanna taste our jam. Just like blackberry pie, so good. All right, we're gonna get set up on the other counter and put our jam into jars. All right, I'm gonna fill my jars to about a quarter inch of headspace. This is so beautiful. I'm not gonna worry about debubbling because I don't really have like big chunky fruit in there. Wipe the rims, add a lid, and a ring, and this is hot just two finger tight. So pretty. I'll just keep filling jars. Well, my canner is full. Everything's covered with water. I've double stacked, so there's a rack on the bottom and a rack in between. And I have a splash of vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this covered, bring it to a boil, and I'm gonna let this process add a boil for 10 minutes. And I'll be back when we're taking them out. Well, my timer went off and I turned everything off and took the lid off and we've been waiting just a couple of minutes and now we're going to take them out. 
so pretty. Jam's always beautiful. Love the way it looks in the jar. Already sealing. Let me know if you give this a try. I love to hear what you're canning and what you're doing in your kitchen. Um, check out the links below. You'll find my Etsy shop and I'm adding stuff to that every single week. Anyways, <clears throat> I am so thankful for you watching my videos and spending time with me. I really appreciate you. So, be so blessed. Know that you're loved and be a blessing to someone else. I'll see you in the next video.